Hi, I'm Alexi, and this is my subjective take on the five most important things and tips to keep in mind if you want to become a master in any creative field, be it music, visual arts, writing, anything. So let's dive right into it. Work in the creative industry. This is a great way to acquire all the basic skills by doing the same basic tasks over and over again. It's also a great way to shatter all the illusions about commercialized creative work. As a byproduct of this though, you might start to hate capitalism as a whole, so just know what you're getting yourself into. You can even found your own company like I did. It's very interesting to get to know your physical limits related to sleeping. Form practice habits. This is crucial. You need to practice your skills every day, and the best way to accomplish that is to make them into meaningful habits. For example, I'm trying to make a habit of reading books. I'm trying to expand my knowledge and awareness, because it helps a lot in the tip number five. Well, how do you make a habit? There's a great book by Charles Duhigg called The Power of Habit, in which he tells how you go about actually forming lasting habits. Basically, a habit consists of three parts. A cue, the habit itself, and a reward. And that's the key. Cue, habit, reward. And that's pretty much everything I remember about the book, because I don't think I listened to all of it on Audible. Yeah, still on chapter 4. Find your ultimate creative goal. This is very important. It helps in deciding what kinds of skills to practice, what fields to pursue professionally, etc. etc. It helps in setting a clear, practical path towards the end goal. Basically, you need to figure out what is it that makes you want to spend your entire life feeling inadequate as an artist. What's the end goal? Is it to get people think about some certain topic that's important for you? Is it a nanoscale, pixel by pixel painting of a curved 8K television? Finding the ultimate creative goal usually takes no longer than a couple decades. And in the meantime, you can use your time by practicing climbing over the writer's blocks, for example. It's a really useful skill. Meditate. Meditation helps in getting rid of the limited, conceptual, linguistic thinking, which tends to clog up the creativity sometimes. By getting rid of it, a whole new world of wonder and presence and enlightenment opens up for you. It's a creative person's heaven, basically. The master Buddhist monks say that it usually takes at least a lifetime of hard work, so maybe don't count on this too heavily. Find the meaning of life. Now this is optional and most people don't actually do this at all, but it helps a lot because it often intersects with the ultimate creative goal, and they tend to sort of complement each other. Now there's a multitude of strategies on how to accomplish this. What I've been doing for the past few years is I've tried to shatter every foundational concept in my head in order to get a fresh start and build a better, more expansive mindset. And I've done the shattering quite successfully. But what surprised me is how difficult the rebuilding is. Okay, that's it. That's my five tips to keep in mind if you want to become a creative master. Thanks for watching and see you next time.